Hi guys, welcome to my parents' land. I actually traveled home today, got a watermelon with me, and I thought I would film a video today for you about this misconception that you have to be rich or well off to travel. But first, a couple announcements. Number one, I'm putting the final finishing touches on my Chart Your Cycle course, and the registration is gonna open back up August 1st for that. It's not gonna start for a couple more weeks, so we have a little bit of time to sign up. I'll let you know when the deadline is, when I know when it is, because I haven't decided yet. But I will have a link to that in the description box down below. Also, that will take you to my website, femhead.com, if you haven't checked out that yet. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button if you like videos like this, or minimalism, or mental magic. I do it all, and I really enjoy making videos for you. So if you want to keep the update up to date with them, click that button. But into the video. So like I said, there's this misconception that you have to be pretty well off or have this really fancy job to be able to travel, but you don't. I am a good example of that. See, I used to be guilty too. I would picture celebrities or rich people on their private jets and hired yachts sailing mystically through the Mediterranean. Now, I just want to start by saying that I know that I'm lucky that I'm able to put myself in a position where I have very little expenses and bills and all that sort of stuff, but I pay my bills, I put away money for retirement and other adult things like that. But I'm also very particular about what I spend my money on. I thankfully have gotten it to a point where my expenses are very low. I save a lot of my money for travel because that is something that at this point in my life is very important to me. I don't go out on the weekends and rack up like a hundred plus dollar bar tabs. If you are a person that enjoys going out, great for you, but like start keeping track of how much money you're spending on that. And I also don't spend a lot of money on clothes. People put away a lot of money, like spend a lot of money, I should say, on clothing and accessories. And I just go to the thrift store when I get new things. I enjoy going thrifting and I do not enjoy spending a lot of money on clothes. <laughs> now let's talk a little bit about travel. Do your research when you want to go on a trip. Maybe one of the first things when you're deciding where you want to go, is there a place you can go that you know is more inexpensive than another place? This is a choice I made well back in college with the first time I ever went abroad. It was, um, I studied abroad for a semester and I chose Thailand because I knew that would be very affordable for me and it worked out perfect. I was able to go there and enjoy everything because I was able to afford it. And I know if I went to study abroad in London or Australia, which were two other trips offered by my school, I wouldn't have been able to experience it because I would have been penny pinching and worrying about saving my money. Travel, accommodations, and food. Those are the three big things when traveling. Shop around for plane tickets. Don't just buy the first ticket you see, which I know a lot of people don't. You know, be flexible with your travel days. Shop around with your accommodations. In the US, I know when I was younger, I thought just hotels because hotels is basically what we have here, especially in the Midwest. Don't be scared of hostels. I've stayed in plenty of hostels. And then also Airbnb is another great thing. And finally, food when you're abroad. Food is like a very weird thing because you know normally when you're at home, most of us don't eat out every meal, but when you're traveling, it kind of becomes okay to eat out every meal. And depending on you, where you are, it's fine and you can afford eating out every meal. I think there was one time I, I took myself out to lunch at a Thai place somewhere in England, and I ended up spending like $45, and I was like, oh my God, Victoria. So if you're gonna be in a place for a while, go to the grocery store there. Just kind of treat it as if you were living at home. Or you can also go to the grocery store and get things that you can travel with. You know, treat yourself to meals out because that's part of the experience. But when I was abroad, like, I would eat every meal of the day even if I wasn't hungry because I would be like, oh, it's noon, it's time to eat lunch. Oh, it's five o'clock or six o'clock, it's time to eat dinner. And I would go and eat even if I wasn't hungry. I'm not saying starve yourself, but I'm just saying, like, don't go eat a giant meal if you don't, if you just need a snack. People talk about traveling inexpensively all the time. Like, this isn't a new topic that I'm telling people about. I get questions whenever I put up a travel video or I talk about travel and people are like, how do you afford to do it? Just be smart with your money. Look at where you're spending your money day to day. And I think just being aware of where you're putting your money, saving your money, spending it, is a very important thing. And maybe you're spending money on something you really don't even like or care about and you can like nip that in the butt and there's a trip right there for you. All right guys, I know this is very kind of scattered brain all over the place video, but I hope you got something out of it. I hope it sparks this thought in you that if you wanna travel, go travel. Like you don't have to be super rich, like you can make it happen. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, I'll see ya, bye.